What could possibly be better than spend your day fishing? Oh, I don't know. Maybe fishing with electricity? That's right, explorers. We're electro fishing with Texas Parks and Wildlife. Every year, stripers are collected to help produce more healthy generations of fish. Electro fishing uses electricity to temporarily stun the fish and make collecting them easier. So behind me is the boat that is used for electrofishing. Now, right next to me, what I'm holding right now are electrodes, all these little wires. What we have to do is once we get there, we have to step on these pedals. Now that will generate, that will put 240 volts of electricity into the water. And the boat is actually the ground or cathode. Now the electricity travels through the water and the fish back to the boat completing a circuit. And then when it strikes the fish, it, they inflate their swimming bladders. So they just rise up to the surface. It's almost like magic. It's just bzzz, poof. All, suddenly these fish just start floating up to the surface. It's weird. Believe it or not, it doesn't harm the fish. They just think they've been abducted by aliens. I'm serious, Steve. One minute, I'm swimming over by Lenny's place, and the next minute, I'm getting probed. No way, man. You should stop drinking. Uh, dude, I'm a fish. Now let's do some electro fishing. Boom! <laughs> There's an alligator guy, I see! Just really cool. We stepped on these pedals and it was almost like magic. All these fish were suddenly struggling and then poof, they stopped. They just stopped moving. There's a one a couple of them are stunned right now. Wait. One thing that's interesting is that they actually swim towards the electrodes. It's very very weird. They swim towards these things. So they have these nets filled with fish and uh, they're filling up these tanks with them. Oh wow, they're huge. Right now what they're doing is they're male and females which they've caught and they have to put them in separate tanks. But first we need to figure out who's a boy and who's a girl. Put a little pressure on you. See that right there? It's a male. Yep. Which tank does it go in? It goes right there. <laughs> Ow! I just got a spike or something. I got, got like a spike in my hands. Jeez. Next, we'll collect some eggs from the females for testing. You thought your math test was rough. Jeez. So, this is my friend Brian, and he's an expert at electrofishing. What we're doing right now is we have to look under at these eggs under a microscope to see if they're yeah, ready for spawning. So it's hard to see through this thing. And they're definitely immature eggs, so they're not gonna that's definitely not going to work. Each fish has to have a tag on it. And each one 
each tag has a different number and color code. So we use these tags to track them through the process. The collection process stops the development of eggs. So we need to give these females a shove hormones to get them back on schedule. We have to put in the truck where it'll be sent over to a hatchery. It's a, <laughs> it's a male. Here, please, it's heavy. Now they're off to the hatchery to have about a zillion babies. Then they'll be distributed into about 12 different lakes. So what have we learned today? Well, we've learned that bad day fishing is better than a good day at school. And swim away from the lights! Get out of here, fishy!